In the early 80s, the most shocking thing in the history of television, in fact, the world, happened. We've got some rather bad news, I'm afraid, because we discovered this morning that over the weekend, vandals broke into the Blue Peter Garden and caused rather a lot of damage. They reacted like it was some huge ecological disaster. When it came on the telly, it was teams, teams of people sweeping and scrubbing and all oh, terrible and, you know, police around giving their opinions. It was such an overreaction. It even provoked a less than PC response from the normally mild-mannered Percy Thrower. It's not a pretty sight, is it, what it's they did, terrible, Percy? You know. People who do this sort of thing must be mentally ill, Janet, wasn't they? Despite sort of my childhood being raped in a way by the Blue Peter Garden sort of ending in a terrible sort of orgy of destruction, at the same time, it was quite funny. The presenters did a very good job pretending they give a shit. I remember Simon Groom standing by the pool with a photograph of, good God, what kind of beasts are there in society who could do this? For years, it was an unsolved crime. And then, in 2000, Les Ferdinand claimed he'd helped the vandals over the garden wall. One of them being the lovable Cockney scamp, Dennis Wise. He then found himself at the centre of a kind of avalanche of hatred. You know, everyone hated him for, for, for doing it. So he had to sort of issue a statement saying, I was only mucking about, I didn't really do it. I know he didn't do it. I did it. You did it. I did it. Yeah, I'll come clean now. <laughs> do I do that? The nation will... I don't care, I did it. And it was, there wasn't a gang, I was, I, was, I was a lone operator. I did it all on my own. What have you said? <laughs>